Hi my dear students today we will discuss about software interrupts In the last class we discussed about hardware interrupts that are non maskable interrupt and INTR interrupt request those two are the hardware interrupts that are presented in 8086 microprocessor the two is available in 8086 pin diagram pin number 17 and pin number 18 now we will go about discuss about software interrupts so these are the instructions that are inserted within the program to generate interrupts remember these are the instructions that are inserted within the program to generate interrupts so there are 256 software interrupts are there how many interrupts are there remember 256 software interrupts are there in 8086 microprocessors the instructions are of the format int type that means all interrupts how we can available int type type suppose interrupt type 0 right interrupt type 1 interrupt type 2 interrupt type 3 so interrupt type where type ranges from 0 0 to f that means from 0 to 256 the total amount 256 0 to 255 The starting address. The starting address is how much? Zero 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 H two. Zero 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 three F F. One two three four five. One two three four five H. Zero zero three double F H. These are two byte instructions. Remember, these are two byte instructions. I P is just now I told. I P is loaded. Type interrupt type. Multiplied by four. Interrupt type multiplied by four. So CS is loaded from the next address type. CS is loaded with next that is type into four plus two. Just now already explained this how to load the CS value and IP value. In software interrupt there are two fifty six interrupts are there. So how we can uh, how we can find we, by using int type int type zero or int type one int type two. So the range is from 256 interrupts until out of those 256 interrupts the address is from 00 to ff so the instructions are in 00 to ff the starting address is range from 00000h to 0030h so ip is loaded from type into multiply by 4 whereas cs is type multiply by 4 plus 2 right so now how we can classify these interrupts how we can classify these interrupts So these two fifty six interrupts are classified into three types. The two these two fifty six interrupts are classified into three types. That is, first one is dedicated interrupts. First one is dedicated interrupts. Next, second one is reserved interrupts. next one is available interrupts next one is available interrupts so what are the dedicated interrupts dedicated interrupts from interrupt 0 to interrupt 4 reserved interrupts are from interrupt 5 to interrupt 31 available interrupts are interrupt 32 to interrupt 225 see while we are discussing the interrupt factor table at that time i already discussed this so there are if you if you see the interrupt factor table then you can easily find all these things if you observe the interrupt factor table see here i discussed all those things type 0 dedicated interrupts reserved interrupts available interrupts right now we will go in detail about each interrupt now we will go in detail about each interrupt So first we will discuss about dedicated interrupts. First one is we will discuss about dedicated interrupts. That is what is the range from type zero to type zero. That is int zero to int four. Int zero, int one, interrupt zero, interrupt one, interrupt three, interrupt four. Right? First, first interrupt is what interrupt zero. What is the interrupt zero? Divide error. Interrupt zero is what? divide error so this interrupt occurs whenever there is a division error see division error whenever division error occurs this interrupt occurs 
when the result of division is too large suppose when we are dividing two numbers the division is too large and to be stored it is it is it is very uh, we can't store that value so it is very less and this condition normal occurs when the divisor is very small as compared to the dividend our divisor is zero remember if you got anything is by zero then we cannot in pros or cons don't know what we have to do right and the next one is the condition normal occurs when the divisor is very small as compared to the dividend our divisor is zero if it is very small compared to the uh, division dividend then we will get this as so the isr is stored to location 4 the isr is what type 0 right 0 multiplied by 4 that means what is that 0 so the type 0 is exist from 0 0 0 0 0 0 in the ivt interfractor table next next one is so what is the second int 1 int 1 what is that single step what is that single step that means the microprocessor executes this enter interrupt after every instruction if the tf is set if tf is set the microprocessor executes this interrupt after every instruction right and it puts the microprocessor in single step mode single step mode means the microprocessor passes after executing every instruction this is very useful during debugging during the debugging this will be very very important remember it puts the microprocessor in single step mode that means the microprocessor passes after executing every instruction this is very useful during the debugging so isr is generally displays all these isr value is how much type 1 multiplied by 4 how much 4 so the value is from 0004h in the ivt in the ivt single step mode next next one is next one is int 2 interrupt 2 that means what non maskable just now i told whenever i discuss about non maskable interrupt after executing the non maskable interrupt it automatically generates type 2 in interrupt type 2 interrupt the microprocessor executes the isr in response to interrupt on non maskable interrupt so what is the value it is loaded 2 into 4 how much 8 that means 0008 and i cs value is this is ip address cs value is 0008 this is already discussed type 3 interrupt next 4 type 3 in, in, interrupt 3 what is interrupt 3 break point interrupt remember break point interrupt this interrupt is used to cause break points in the program it is caused by the instruction int 03h or we can write like this int 03h or you simply write int break point that means interrupt is used to cause the break points in the program it is useful in debugging large program whenever you single stepping is efficient if isr is low, low what is the value of isr 3 into 4 how much 12 12 means how much 0000 ch 000 ch so break point means break point it is caused by writing the instruction into 03h whenever you are de debugging the large program then we require this break point interrupt and last one is in interrupt 4 last one is interrupt 4 that is called overflow these are all our software interrupts these are all our software interrupts this interrupt occurs if the overflow flag is set and the microprocessor executes interrupt 0 interrupt 0 on overflow instruction see intvo remember intvo not right 0 this is o it is used to detect overflow error in single arithmetic com find the overflow so isr value is how much type 4 right 4 into 4 how much 16 that means 00010 h so these are called dedicated interrupts these are called as dedicated interrupts now coming to the next uh, that is reserved interrupts next one is what reserved interrupts reserved interrupts are from int 5 to int 31 int 5 to int 31 see remember these reserved interrupts are used for intel to be used in high processors like where we, these interrupts are used in 80386 or we can use this in pentium these are used by intel integrated electronics 80386 are in pentium these are they are not available to the user they are not available to the user so now 
we come to the next say, next one that is c reserved interrupts are only for higher process like a0386 serpentium next one is c available available interrupts available interrupts that is interrupt 32 to interrupt 225 to 20. these are user defined software interrupts remember these are user defined software interrupts these are user defined and software interrupts next ISRs for these interrupts are written by the users to service remember ISRs for these interrupts are written by the users to service various user defined conditions to various user defined conditions we are using this these interrupts are invoked by writing the instruction INT that is, is ISR address is obtained by the microprocessor from location C suppose if you write INT N that means N is multiplied by 4 type 32 to type 3225 these are user defined software interrupts are written by the users to service various user defined conditions right so these are the interrupts right so this will about the software interrupts right so now we will go for uh, programming next we will discuss about the programming using AMU8086 right that is DOS interrupt interrupt 21H right until then thank you my dear students